Arsenal Fan TV, Mo, first of all, Claude is ripping it to you earlier, saying that you need to lay off of other teams and let's concentrate on us because our performances are not good enough. Last thing I want to do is talk about Claude right now. <laughs> I couldn't, give a, I couldn't give a crap what, what Claude says or thinks about me, just as I don't give a crap about whatever anyone else says or thinks about me. So tweet me all you want, give me all your comments. I do what I want to do, not what you want what me to do. What happened today? You know, I was, really, I was really, really trying to come up with an, a reason or a set of reasons as to why it was that bad today. Because, you know, most of the time you can put it down to something, right? And... Um, I was, I was really, really searching the bank of reasons, and honestly, I, I was even going as far deep as thinking, is it something to do with Christmas? You know, like, you know, I don't know, is it coincidence? I, I, there was Boxing Day and everyone had a big meal yesterday, maybe they were out drinking a bit, too. I don't know. I, I'm, well, it looks like they were out drinking last night. I'm, I'm honestly that confused. I'm, I'm bemused as to how it could be that bad, because... You know, I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this right, but we were lucky to lose 4-0 today. Mm. And I mean that because they had two goals disallowed and they had long one-on-one -on -one, uh, against Czech and, and he skied it. It really, really could have been so much worse and we were actually lucky. You How's know, a team that's going to come here and lose 4-0 to Southampton, who ain't even been playing well, really hope to win the league? I mean, we've all been getting excited and optimistic. Big wins over Manchester City, you know, we, we have bounced back after bad defeats. But you can't just keep, I mean, there was no fight today. No fight, no heart. Like somebody said earlier, we lost every second ball, we lost every tackle. We just, there was no energy, no pace in the team. What, I really have to start thinking your theory could be right. <laughs> Do you know, honestly, I really, really don't understand what it was. I mean, the thing is, Leicester, oh, sorry, Leicester, uh, Southampton, you really have to hand it to them today because as bad as Arsenal were, and whenever there's a defeat of this nature, you always ask, it, ask the question, you know, was it the team that won being really, really good or was it the team that lost being that bad? And today I think it was very, very clear that we were really, really bad. But Southampton, they deserve their nickname today because they were perfect. You know, they were impeccable. They really were saintly in their performance today. And... Their physicality, their pressing, it was absolutely top-notch. And for Arsenal, uh, you know, the one thing that we know we can do is pass, right? And, and that was so sloppy today. In terms of physicality, there was absolutely nothing. Just, I, I don't want to pick on any one player because it was a really, really poor team performance today. But just one thing I noticed, Theo Walcott, before they scored their goal, it, it, the ball was in the corner that I was sitting in, in the bottom left corner of our, where Arsenal were defending. Theo Walcott had many chances to try and nip the ball away from, from the players that had the ball, didn't take it. And then I know it's from, from a throw on, he just got a little nudge, you know, a, a Southampton player wanted the space Theo was on, he gave him a little nudge, you're moving less than Theo moved. Theo literally just vacated the space, just moved back. And I'm thinking, like, well, where's that kind of needle that you need to have as a competitive professional footballer, where it's a case of, you know... But is this the unprofessionalism, because they showed that the other night? No, they showed that the other night. Unprofessionalism is too, too strong a word. It's not unprofessionalism, but look, my final point on this was when um, the goal went in, the first goal went in, Theo, with all of his pace, had a chance to close that ball down, did nothing, stood there and watched. And people might say to me, oh, yeah, but it's a, it's a world of a shot. What, you can do, what can you do about it? You know, I hate saying this, but Danny Rose, Czech Teote, Michael Essien, you know, these goals are flashing through people's heads as I'm saying this. It happens quite regularly, well, not regularly, but it, we can come up with numerous examples of when it happens. The easiest way to make sure that you don't concede these wonder goals is do everything within your power to stop them. And whenever we concede a goal, I, I look at our setup and I look at what our players have done in the, in the run-up to conceding that goal, and I, and I say to myself, has every single player done everything in their power to prevent that goal from going in? And if the answer is yes, then I say, fine, that's just part of football. If the answer is no, well, then someone needs to learn a lesson. Close the players down. Theo is rapid. He could get much closer to that ball. And one day, it might deflect off his foot and go in the top corner, in which case you say, fair enough, you've done everything that you could. But 
today he just stood there and watched it. And that was just one example, and I can come up with about 10 for each player today, but it ran through the whole team. And that's what I don't understand. How can we put a performance with exactly the same team who put in such a brilliant physical performance against Man City, and how can that exact same team come here and play like we did today? Because it was absolutely unacceptable. A team that's not as technically as good, not as skillful, doesn't have as um, a good player. As I mean, can we win the league, Mo? Listen, you know, can we win the league? Listen, we, we're going to have many other games like this that we're going to have to come away from home and play at places like this. With performances like this, have we got any chance of winning the league? Are we, we being a bit deluded at the moment? Listen, I, I'm never... It's the same old thing every year, isn't it? I'm never ever one to change my mind about a, a bigger issue over the course of 90 minutes. I think that's unintelligent to do so. 90 minutes does not, should not be the thing that changes your mind about a manager or a, or a whole year's worth of effort that you're going to put in, whether you can be title contenders or not. Yeah, but you've seen these before many I, times, I that's have, why. But listen, there's plenty of teams that put in amazing performances, have wonderful victories and get relegated. So why can't we have the reverse where there's a team that puts in one really, really, really poor performance and then goes and wins the league? Of course we can win the league. My mind is not going to be made up over the course of 90 minutes. I'm not going to be driving up to Southampton saying, oh, yeah, we can win the league and driving back saying, no, we can't win the league. That is stupidity in my book. We can win this league and I think we've got one hell of a chance of winning this league. But... It really does require us to put in a hell of a lot more effort and learn a massive lesson than what was out there today and, and what we did today because that was not the sort of performance that leagues are won on. So we've got a massive, massive lesson today and we better act upon that because this is a wonderful opportunity for Arsenal to win the league and it will be absolutely wasted if we don't. But listen, before I don't just want to say Arsenal, I just want to say as well, Southampton, the fans I thought were top notch, you know, around not all areas of the ground, but the fans around us, they had cracking banter. They were, you know, singing their hearts out, fair play to them, even before the first goal went in and throughout the game. So hats off to Southampton fans. In terms of the performance they put out, absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, it, it, we can slate Arsenal and we will slate Arsenal, but hats have to go off to Southampton because they could have won six or seven nil today. So.